My name is Brooke Beckstead, and I'm from the Beta Alpha Psi chapter from the University of Wyoming. Today, um, I'm going to be doing exer exercise 9-27, and we're going to be finding ending inventory using the dollar value LIFO retail method. So, first I'm going to read the problem, and then we'll go through the solutions together. So, Brooks Corporation adopted the dollar value LIFO retail inventory method on January 1st, 2009. At the time, the inventory had a cost of $146,000 and a retail price of $250,000. The following information is available. So here it gives you the years, the year ending, and inventory at retail price, and the cost retail percentage and year end price index. It says the price index at January 1st, 2009 is 100%. Instructions. Compute the ending inventory at December 31st of the years 2009 through 2012, round to the nearest dollar. So let's start by looking at the year 2009. So here are the 2009 solutions. First, you want to restate the base year in retail amounts. So in the problem, it showed us for the year 2009, 271000 so take 271,000 divided by the price index of that year, which is 1.05, to come up with an amount of $258,095. Then you have to find the cost to retail ratio, which if you look back in the problem, it gives you the inventory cost of 146,000 and the retail price of 250,000. So we're going to divide those, 146 divided by 250 to come up with a percentage. So let's start by looking at layer 1. We use 250,000 because, again, looking back in the problem, that's the retail price right here, 250,000. So that's the most that um, you can do for layer 1. So 250,000 times the price index of the base year, which is just 1, times the cost to retail ratio, which we just found was 0.584. Multiply that out and come up with the number 146,000. For layer 2, we're going to take the difference from the number um, we found in the restated base year amount of 258,095. That and um, the retail price of 250000 So the difference is $8,095. And then from here it's pretty easy. You just look back in the problem and um, see the cost to retail percentage of that year, 2009, and the year and price index and multiply those through. So 1.05 times 0.58 gives you a number. So then you add up your layers 1 and 2 to get 150000 929 for ending inventory um, for 2009, which um, seems pretty easy. So for the rest of the years, that's all we'll do is the same thing. So now let's look at um, year 2010. Here are the 2010 solutions. We start out the same way by restating the base year amount in retail amount. So look back in the problem at year 2010. It says there's 291,500. So we're going to take that number and divide it by um, the price index, which was 1.08 for that year. So you have 268, 69, excuse me, 907. Start the same way as the year 2009. So find the first layer. 250,000 times 1.0 times 0.584, same as last year. Um, for layer 2, is going to be the same as last year. Now we still use the 8,095 because that's the most we can use for that layer. Once we create an amount, see here back in 2009, we created the amount of $8,095. $8, that's the limit to that layer now. So you create, create layer 2 the same way you created it in 2009, and then move on to layer 3 because there's still an amount left of 11,812, um, which, again, we found that by subtracting layers 2 and 1 from $269,907. So 
take the 11812 and multiply it by the price index and the cost retail percentage in that year. Come out with the number and then you add up all the layers just like in the last year to come up with 158583 um, for ending inventory in 2010. Okay, moving on to the year 2011. Here are the solutions for 2011. We're going to do the same thing we've started out doing every year. Restate the base year in retail prices. So 280000 was given to us in the problem, and so was 1.1, the price index for that year, 2011. We come up with a number 254545 So start out with layer 1, just like any other year, which we've already found to be 146000 and then layer two now is going to be less than our limit. We created a limit back here in 2009 of $8,095, but we can always go less than that. So here we have $4,545. Um, create that layer using the same price index um, and cost retail percentage. So you come up with 2,767 for that. And this year, year 2011, only needed two layers. So just add up those layers to come up with $148,767 for ending inventory. And that means our new limit for layer two is going to be the uh, 4,545 instead of the 8,095 because we can't go past that amount now. So for the last year is year 2012. Um, start again by restating the base year in retail prices. So look back at the problem. There is uh, 311,000. Take that amount divided by the 1.2 to come up with uh, 259,167. Layer 1 is going to be the same as previous years. Layer 2, using our new limit of 4,545, is going to be the same as year 2011. And then layer 3, though, we have $4,622 left, which we're going to multiply by the cost retail percentage in that year and the year and price index in that year. So you come up with the numbers. Um, add up all the uh, the layers to come up with $152,039 for ending inventory. And um, another thing with this problem is at the end of each year, I asterisked how to get this the last layer's amount. So that can be helpful if you guys need it. And I hope I was helpful. And um, yeah, good luck. Thanks.